Hello everyone, and welcome to this OpenIO install guide for X3 replicated mode. In this mode, each chunk is replicated three times across three different servers. We'll be installing version 16.04 on three servers running CentOS 7. To kick things off, please head to the official OpenIO website. Just head to the Get Started section, then click Discover, and you'll be redirected to our official GitHub account. There you'll find the X3 installation guide we'll be covering today. Also, please make sure that you have three CentOS machines that are up and running. Now, in order to prepare a service to use OpenIO, first it's good to run an update on all the servers before installing new packages. Let's do that now. Now, just to make things easier, we'll be disabling SE Linux as well as the firewall service for this tutorial. Last but not least, don't forget to reboot all your servers to apply the new security policies. Now that we're done preparing our servers, let's go ahead and install the required OpenAU packages on them. Just by using your package manager, you'll be able to download and install all the software you'll need from our official repository. Now we'll be moving to the configuration part. Please note that we're using Puppet to deploy and configure our software, and we provide you with all the templates you need to configure OpenIO. You'll have to make small adjustments though, in order to account for different IP addresses, as well as a different configuration on each server. But don't worry, as we have you covered, and we'll do this together this time. Start by copying the templates on each of your servers, For each template, head to the Zookeeper section and replace the MyID field with a different number for each server. For the first one we'll be using 1, for the second one we'll be using 2, etc. Also, on the second and third server, make sure that in your Redis configuration you have a slave off entry pointing towards the Redis of the first server. And make sure that you remove the conscience entry on those servers, as we require only one conscience for our namespace. And last but not least, please don't forget to replace all the server entries with the IP address of each server. That means replacing all the occurrences of server 1 with the IP of the first server, server 2 with the IP of the second one, etc. etc. The easiest way to do that would be to use a set command on each file. Please don't change the ports associated with them, as they are properly configured this time. Now that your manifests are ready, it's time to apply the configuration on each server by running puppet apply. You just have to point the puppet command at the corresponding manifest for each server, and puppet will take care of configuring your OpenIO namespace for you. Note that this operation may take several minutes, depending on your internet connection and the resources you've allocated for each server. Well done! If your Puppet builds were successful, that means you have configured and installed the services on each server. Now let's perform a few tweaks to start the services, and you'll have your namespace up and running in no time. Start off by running the zookeeper bootstrap command on one of the servers, Then check that all of your services are properly registered by running the OpenIO cluster command and proceed with filling the meta zeros by running the OpenIO meta zero init command. And at the end, use grid init to restart your meta services by running it on each one of your servers. Don't forget that the scores on your services are locked. You'll have to unlock it using the OYO cluster unlock command. Now that your scores are rising, that means you have successfully deployed the OpenIO software in a three times replicated mode. Would like to thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this software, please leave a star on our GitHub account. And if you have any questions, please feel free to write to us at info at openio.io.